Let's start at the beginning, where power comes from in the first place. The airplane is equipped with two engine-driven generators and two DC batteries. Collectively, they power three buses, main, essential, and emergency. The primary source of electrical power is a 28-volt, 270-amp starter generator. As the name implies, this accessory functions as both a starter and as a producer of electrical power. However, it cannot do both at the same time. This starter generator, which we'll refer to as Gen 1, is installed on the accessory engine gearbox and is monitored and regulated by a generator control unit, or GCU. Under normal conditions, Gen 1 powers the main bus and charges battery 1. However, if necessary, it is capable of powering all of the aircraft's buses. If Gen 1 can power the entire aircraft, you might be wondering why a second generator and battery would be required. The answer is redundancy. As you'll see in a moment, the Vision SF50 electrical system is designed to gracefully and automatically degrade as necessary in the event of an electrical fault. This reduces workload for the pilot and ensures essential equipment is always powered. Now, let's look at generator two. Technically, this 28 volt, 72 amp unit is an alternator, but it's internally rectified to put out direct current. So we will refer to it as a generator. Like gen one, it is installed on the engine accessory gearbox and output is controlled by an alternator control unit or ACU. While Gen 2 is capable of supplying enough power for the essential and emergency buses while still charging battery 2, it is not designed to power the main bus and it is prevented from doing so by the presence of a blocking diode. Along with two generators, the Vision SF50 is equipped with two batteries. Battery 1 is a 24 volt, 25 amp lead acid unit mounted behind the left-hand cabin bulkhead underneath the baggage floor. It is charged by Gen 1 via the main bus. While BAT-1's primary purpose is to provide power for starting the engine, it also serves as a backup for Gen 1. If power from Gen 1 is lost, the environmental control system, a large consumer of power, is automatically switched off and BAT-1 takes over the balance of the main bus loads. If Gen 2 were to also fail, BAT-1 would feed the essential and emergency buses via a crossover diode. BAT-2 is a smaller 13.6 amp lead acid battery mounted in the nose compartment on the left hand Laundron and charged via the emergency bus. BAT-2's primary purpose is to power the emergency bus in the event both generators and BAT-1 are lost. In this scenario, all main and essential loads would automatically be shed in order to preserve BAT-2, thereby ensuring the continued function of all emergency bus systems and equipment for as long as possible. Your Vision Jet is also equipped with an external power receptacle, which can be connected to the ground power units available at many FBOs. You'll find this useful to power avionics during pre-flight preparation and for engine starting, particularly during cold weather operations. Located below and aft of the baggage compartment door, external power is routed onto the main bus and is controlled via the BAT-1 switch on the bolster switch panel. 